on in 1948 on 1580 on the AM dial to bring R&B and soul to the city of Los Angeles. Over the decades, as the marketplace competition from stations on the fast-growing FM dial began cutting into K-Day's popularity, K-Day had to evolve. We are now about to witness the strength of street knowledge. In 1983, K-Day fought back by hiring the visionary music director, Greg Mack, who brought in a new sound called hip-hop. Straight out of Compton, crazy motherfucker named Ice Cube. From the gang called Niggas With Attitudes. Under Greg Mack's leadership, Dr. Dre and DJ Yella came on as the first DJs as part of an elite roster of mix masters with Tony G, Julio G, Ralph M, Battle Cat, and so many others. Even if Yella makes it a cappella, I still express you, I don't <laughs> smoke <laughs> weed or smoke. <laughs> 1580 K-Day became the first and only rap music station in the country that gave hip-hop the lasting respect it deserves. And in the process, K-Day not only flourished as a rap station, it also became the unifying voice of our city. So much so that in 1986, it organized a special show called A Day of Peace, featuring Run DMC and others by the mic for listeners to call in and appeal for the Bloods and Crip gangs to stop feuding. That day, there was no gang-related violence, and two weeks later, these two LA gangs signed a peace treaty. K-Day was in the 90s, it slowly faded away and its legendary call letter silent. But in 2009, it resurrected in its original rhythmic format to celebrate its old school AM heritage. No matter the decades of ups and downs, today, K-Day continues to rep the unique sound that makes us as iconic as the Hollywood sign and allows us to honor 40 years of K-Day. I need y'all to get big loud right now. We about to give this woman her flowers. Let's go, y'all. All right, she is stamped and certified by every heavy hitting West Coast artist out here. She rides for y'all. And now let's go ahead and ride for her. It's time for the First Lady of K-Day, Cece Valencia. My name is Cece Valencia. I hold it down every afternoon from 3 to 7, Monday through Friday on the afternoon ride. And of course, we want to welcome a very special night. Yes, we're going to celebrate and honor K-Day on its 40th anniversary and a very exclusive event. And congratulations, real quick, on being the few selected to be here up close and personal. Yes, so we can enjoy an unforgettable night filled with great music, great artists, great memories, great champions of our community, and above all, you. Because of you, we are 935 K-Day. Give yourself a round of applause. Like most of you, I have a K-Day story. You know, my career in media began when I was listening to K-Day. My family grew up from Compton, California. Make some noise, CPT. And I remember 
my, my cousins, you know, we used to have the boom box, put the wire hanger with the foil, and they used to listen to K-Day. It's how we all did it back in the day, 1580 AM. And I just wanted to be cool like them. And I remember it really did help shape me, getting to listen to NWA and them speaking about what we saw in the city, in the inner cities of Compton, Linwood, and Watts. And I remember, and it's very important for me to tell you guys this, within my radio career, I remember making a vision board. And that vision board, I had dreams do come true. I put an arrow and I had a sticker, 935K Day. And I said, you know what? I want to work at the first hip hop station in the country. I manifested it, I spoke into it, and here I am at a legendary station among legends. And it's my honor to be here with you guys tonight. I am so happy, I am so proud of this brand. I love K-Day and I love our, our listeners. K-Day Nation, there's no listeners like K-Day Nation. Y'all give it up. This special team entertaining you tonight on this stage, you will have a unique opportunity to see up close many of the stars that you heard and continue to hear on K-Day. Today and tonight, you will hear how K-Day became K-Day. Yes, you will hear the stories about how K-Day fought to remain true to its core vision and true to its sound. You will get to see the incredible people that have worked in front of the mic, but also behind the boards, behind the scenes to keep K-Day going. But right now, you will get to meet the crew that keeps K-Day flowing. It is my distinct pleasure to bring on stage a man I have known and worked with for many years who makes communicating and who made communicating the morning show very, very fun. Please give a round of applause. I am honored to call this man my brother. Make some noise for Romeo! Yeah! CC, do you love me? I said, CC, do you love me? KA Nation, make some noise! Tonight is not for everybody, but it is for you. So it's important that we share this love and communicate tonight. And CC, I too have a story. Coming into radio back in, I can't believe I'm saying this, 99, baby. At Power 106, our sister station where hip hop lives. Shouts out to the Baker Boys for being our mentors back then. Gotta show them love. When we had Run DMC and Jam Master J come through, when we had Big Pun come through the radio station, when we had Naughty by Nature, all the cats from the East Coast, they gave Power 106 their love, but they always said if it wasn't for K-Day, the West Coast wouldn't know about our records because K-Day stands alone. K-Day was the foundation of hip hop, and that's why we are here tonight. Am I right? Yo, I got many, many more stories, but I'm not going to drag that out because coming to the stage right now, my brother, y'all better give it up, and he holds it down to middays. P.J. Butter! Yay! <laughs> What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling tonight? Thank you, CC. Thank you, Romeo. Yo, today's a very special night, and it's, it really, truly is an honor. We're calling it KDA 40 Honors, but it's really an honor for us, all of us who work at KDA, because it's so legendary. I mean, my story is, uh, like CC. You know, I had to listen to K-Day in a boombox and put some tinfoil on it, only because I lived 100 miles down south. And that's what was so cool about K-Day being an AM station, because I could get it on a good day. But on a bad day, I had to take that antenna, raise that thing up. You know that antenna, the one your mom used to hit you with when you was bad? Okay, I'm not the only one then. All right, I don't feel so bad then. <laughs> and it was great, because that's where I got to hear hip hop for the first time. West Coast groups like N.W.A., Ice-T Rhyme Syndicate, yeah. and even East Coast groups like EPMD. Yeah. Special Ed was my shit. I mean, that's why I first heard that, thanks to Greg Mack and K-Day and the K-Day Mix Masters, and that's why we are here tonight to celebrate that. So if you love K-Day, make some noise. Yeah. All right, we got a very special night. We got performances, too. Do we got any DJ Quick fans in the house tonight? Yeah. Do we got any Rodney and Joe Cooley fans in the house tonight? Yeah. What about some Dog Pound fans in the house tonight? Yeah. All right, we got a lot of special things going on and some surprises tonight, so are y'all ready for the show to start? Yeah. All right, let's go. Joining us in the celebration of K-Day 40 honors are some very special friends. Ashanti, Baker Boys, Big Daddy Kane, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Busta Rhymes, DJ E-Man, Greg Mack, 
Ice Cube, Ja Rule, Curtis Blow, Mix Masters, Julio G, Tony G, Battle Cat, Miss Corey Renee, Nathan To It, PJ Butter, Romeo, Smokey Robinson, Terrell Owens, Tiffany Haddish, Tretch from Naughty by Nature, Warren G. With musical performances by Rodney O and Joe Cooley, DJ Quick, The Dog Pound, Corrupt and Daz Dillinger, and many surprises more. K-Day 40 Honors is brought to you by our friends, Jack Daniels, Make It Count. Big Al, hurt, injured in an accident? Call Big Al at 1-800-HURT-123. And PB Jobs, building careers since 1998. All right, yeah. all right, man. I'm ready. You guys ready? We are so I ready. Am. Let's go. Yes. Rome, PJ, you ready? I'm definitely ready. Yes. Yeah. So let's get started right now, introducing our very first guest tonight, we basically could not be here if it wasn't for the vision, the ear of our first guest. That is right, CC, our first guest, who, by the way, wasn't from L.A., but he had a clear vision of who we should be and of the sound and how we stand up for the stand out for the crowd and represent hey, the city of L.A. Come on now. You know how we do. Now, mind you, at this time, it's like 1983, right? So K-Day was still on the AM dial, not where it is today, on the FM. Wow. So I want everyone in the house tonight, please make some noise for the man, the myth, the legend, Great Mac, oh! Mac Attack! Hey! Man, Woo here we go. Listen, the fact that we get to sit here with this legend right Come now, now, we all here because of this man right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Greg, me and you were talking uh, before the show, and I was like, man, I really want to know. K Day is such an iconic station. Thank you for creating the station that I love so much. Did you, did you ever think, though, when you were creating uh, K Day, that it's going to be the force and the iconic station that it was today? You know, um, first of all, I'm just blown away to be up here with you guys, PJ and Romeo, and of course you, CC. I love this lady right here, guys. Yeah, yeah. What a torch bearer. Come on. I want to point out that if it wasn't for companies like Marulo Media, Auto Padron, we're talking about E-Man, my boy Nathan, who uh, surprised me when he emailed me, uh, you guys have got to give applause for them because they are the ones that are keeping this thing going. So I'm, I'm very excited uh, to be up here with you guys. As to whether or am I surprised that it's still going, uh, you know, I didn't know what to expect. When I was developing this, I was playing music that I liked. You know how radio stations are always talking about playing what you want to hear. I actually did it. <laughs> now, you might be in Long Beach and had to get on the roof to hear me, <laughs> but you could hear me in Hawaii. It was the weirdest signal. It was the weirdest thing. Yeah. You know, I'm, just, I'm just very blessed to even be up here. Yeah, and, and it's such a blessing, man. This is Radio Royalty. Understand that. Put your hands together for Greg Mack. <laughs> I mean, it all started with here. You know what I'm saying? And I know there's a lot of things I can ask you, but before everyone came into the main studio tonight, you showed me something very special. So if you don't mind, I need you to stand up. You don't want me to pull my pants down. I, I ain't gonna do that. No, 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 no. And, and while you're doing that, I gotta shout out my brother DJ, cause to the good fellas. You remember us back in the day, cause we right. had some records. You were oh, introduced us on you, stage. I know what you're talking but about. But I need you to unzip that jacket, all right, and I need them to show you why it all started with you, Greg Mack. Brace yourself. He flexed on us earlier, though. Come on now, look at that. Yeah. So when people come up to you today, Greg Mack, and thank uh -huh. you for starting K-Day and where it's at now, how does that make you feel, knowing what you have accomplished? And we're 40 years in. You know, here's the thing. Um, how lucky am I to have worked with some of the best DJs in the world? How lucky am I to, that when I started this venture that my first DJs were Dr. Dre and DJ Yella? Wow. I, I've had some of the best DJs, Tony G, Julio G. Woo. I'm talking about my man Joe Cooley, M Walk, Battle Cat. I've had, and even now today, my DJ, DJ Shy. 
I've had some of the best in the business to be surrounded myself with. Yes. And so, you know, I, I can't lose. And then the music. Now, a lot of people always ask me, I think you touched upon this earlier, it's like, um, you know, coming from being a country boy, because I'm a country boy, I'm sorry, I'm a Cowboys fan. Yeah. <laughs> Easy, Raider Nation, be, be, calm down, Raider Nation. Calm down, Raider Nation. I know, I I'm know. with you, though. Don't y'all don't give up on me. Don't add them. Yeah. Um, but, you know, when, when you grow up in Texas, if you didn't like the Cowboys and you didn't know how to barbecue, you were considered a problem, okay? <laughs> so, my point is, guys, before y'all start booing me out of here, um, is that we didn't, I didn't, I was so naive. I was a country boy and I come out here. I even got pulled over one day over in Compton and the cop actually came over to me and he said, don't you know you're wearing blue over here? And I said, what does that mean? I did not know. Mm. I could have gotten killed that day. I was so naive. But I think that the gangs learned to accept me and the fact that uh, I wasn't down with anyone in particular. I was down with everybody. Yeah. We did shows in uh, Compton for the Reds, the Crips, or the, the Bloods, I'm sorry. Yes. We did, we, did shows, we did shows at World on Wheels for the Crips. We did Casa Camino Real in downtown Los Angeles. That was neutral territory. We did Sherman Square in Reseda. That was for the Latin uh, gangs. And then we would do 321 Club in Santa Monica for the white people that were too scared to go see us anywhere else. <laughs> okay, this is true. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just like tickled to death to see K-Day's uh, legend continuing and thanks to people like you. Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's keep this going, man. We gotta keep Definitely. this going. See, I, I told them before I got up here, I said, y'all better watch me, I talk a lot. So anyway. Oh, we yeah. we're, we're really in, we got you. Yeah. Okay, PJ. But I, I wanna know is like, because when you got here in LA, K-Day was already here, but it wasn't what you made it. So what made you decide to change the format? And hip hop being new at that time, what made you wanna even start playing hip hop? You know, hip hop was being played on the radio, uh, usually at night, overnight. Uh, it was hard talking them into it because the politicians hated it. So they were after me. Black programmers didn't support it. They called me a nut. Record companies, this is true, record companies threatened to break my legs. Damn. Um, it was- Before Suge Knight, right? It wasn't Suge Knight. <laughs> this guy. Look here, before, before Suge Knight, you could actually walk into a radio station or a record company <laughs> and talk to folks. After Suge Knight, there was bars, his <laughs> gates. <laughs> Wow. Now, you're talking about Suge Knight. I have nothing but admiration for him, and I'll tell you when you read my book one day. But the, the thing is, is that, you know, it wasn't, you know, when I got here, I, you know, I think out of the five black radio stations, K-Day was number five. And so they were like, hey, you got any ideas, you know, you want to do? And I said, yeah, even though at that time I didn't. But the next day, you know, I, I go home because when I got here, I was living in South Central. Uh -huh. and. All you had to do is open your window. All you heard was Curtis Blow, Run DMC, Come on anything now. Sugar Hill. And so I go back to him the next day and I said, it's hip hop. No, 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 we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and so I got with the general manager the next day. Uh, we all knew to talk to him after he had a, a drink or two at lunch. And he said, all right, we're gonna give it a try. Within three months, we went from number five to number two. Within three months. Let's go. Let's go. Months. 40 years later. And 40, 40 years, years later. 40 years later. Yes. Here we are. Yes. But look here. Come Radio on. Radio Royalty, Greg Mack, you cannot leave the stage yet because we want to take you center stage for a second. Yes. Follow us, Greg Mack, because look, we're celebrating K-Day 40 honors. If you're out here having a good time, make some noise. Come on. DA, you come on up here. Hey. We're going to be honoring people throughout tonight, but it's only right that we start with the man that started it all, Mr. Greg Mack. Make some noise. Greg Mack, we present this award to you. Thank you so much for giving us 40 years and your vision. Because of you, we are all here tonight. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. And yes. thank you for flexing on us tonight, too. We appreciate that. My man got guns, son. Rome, you got to get a tat next. <laughs> One more time. Give it up for Greg Mack. Give it up, Give it up. Yeah. Mack attack. Now, coming up next to the stage is a group that uh, Greg Mack definitely played on K-Day because I listened to them. That was the first time I heard them on the radio. And 
when, you know, back in the day, remember back in the day when you, there was a song on the radio you, you wanted to record because you couldn't buy it, you had to record it, and you was praying, you were praying the DJ wouldn't say anything. So I was like this day, one day I was praying, I was like, please, Greg Mack, don't go on. Greg Mack, Mack attack over the song, because I was trying to record the song. Not only because the song was really dope, because that song has some bass, excuse me, it has some everlasting bass. So I want y'all to make some noise as K-Day honors Rodney O and Joe Cooley. What it do? What up, y'all? Radio Joe Cooley, y'all. What up, what up? Now, I don't know if y'all know this. If you, how many 1580 uh, K-Day fans we got out here? Then y'all know original mix master Joe Cooley right here. Joe, how was it like working at K-Day, and how did you hook up with Rodney? Oh. It was pretty cool at K-Day, you know, uh, through Tony G. He the one yes. pretty much pulled Alleged. Joe in. I met Rodney O in Arizona, Phoenix. I was out there with Kid Frost doing the show, scratching, you know. Came to the studio and scratching, there it is. So it was what, Rodney, did you just come up to him, say, hey, yo, I rap like, like how people do today? Nah, actually, my, my manager was at Soundcheck and he heard him scratching. He said, if you ever need anybody to scratch on your record, you gotta get Joe Cool. I, I, I hadn't seen him or anything, so he brought him to the studio and that was it. We did but it the, right there. But how did you make it a group then? Because if you just wanted him to scratch, did you decide like, hey, we should just do this together? Well, it was weird because when Everlast and Bass came, came out, Joe was a mix master. He came up to me and said, man, your record's doing good. I said, what you talking about, man? You on that record with me. I mean, I was because I was by myself, but he towed it up so good that I was like, hey, man, it's like peanut butter and jelly. PJ butter and jelly, right? Yeah. For sure. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna talk about because that, that song is, is, is amazing, especially at that time with, with that bass. I mean, can you tell us something we may not know about the song Everlasting Bass? Um, actually, I was in Denver, Colorado. We had a show with Public Enemy, uh, Joe Ski Love, uh, uh, the Dream Team, and I was, uh, yep, and I was with Egyptian Lover playing keyboards. And I'm in the lobby. And they just girls all over them. They talking, chopping it up, and I'm just sitting over to the side. I said, I'm taking my punk ass up in the whole to hotel room and write me a hit record. And uh, that's how Everlasting Bass. And yes, did I you did. write? And did. Give it up for Everlasting Bass, man. That's the joint. That is a classic, a K-Day staple. And speaking of K-Day, how, how did K-Day kind of help y'all's career? I mean, nobody was playing rap music, so to actually hear, I mean, our record plays so much on K-Day that sometimes I'd go get in my car to go to the store and it was on and I'd cut it off. I tell you what, whoever's idea was to put that everlasting bass next, that thing would thump in my friend's Suzuki Samurai back in the day with the subs yeah, in the back. On, that thing know, would pump. The false pump. gate, the false <laughs> gates, <laughs> the 12-inch woofers, yeah. Right yeah. on. All right, so you guys going to perform uh, coming up, right? Why not? All yep. right, so we're going to have Ryan and Joe Cooley perform in a minute, but Corey, tell them what's coming up next. All right, you guys, when we come back, we're going to have a message Whoa! from Ice Cube, Tretch, Ja Rule, Ashanti, performances by Rodney O and Joe Cooley, Romeo, he's about to talk about his top four hip hop pillars. He's gonna have a sit down with DJ Quick, then Quick is gonna take the stage. That and everything else on Hip Hop 40 Honors when we return. Hey, much love to K-Day, 40 years in the game. Look, if it wasn't for K-Day, I probably wouldn't even be a rapper, you know what I mean? Like, K-Day put it down, it was playing the music first, and uh, got us all going, and to be here 40 years later, uh, thank God for K-Day, because K-Day has brought hip-hop to the West Coast and kept it right here in Southern California, and uh, let's go another 40 years, let's go. Yeah, 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 what's up? This Trigger Trudge up in here, Naughty Boy number one, man, with K-Day over here, man, celebrating a naughty 40-year anniversary. You heard what I'm saying? It ain't gonna get no better than this. That's what it is. That part right there. Yo, what it is? Happy 40th K-Day. Y'all know what it is, man. Love to y'all. Y'all always supported me for my whole career, 25-some-odd years, so 
Much love to y'all. Happy birthday, K-Day. Happy 40th to K-Day. I just got off the stage. It was super crazy. LA was super lit. We love y'all. Happy 40. Thank you, Ashanti, before she was pregnant. All right, y'all ready for our first performance of the night? No, you ain't ready. Let me hear some noise. Y'all make some noise right now for the pioneers of this West Coast rap shit. Give it up for Ronnie O and Joe Cooley. Uh, uh, uh. But you don't hear me, though. Just hanging out with the Falcons Just because you're on top of a mountain But what goes up must come down, bro They didn't care about two, four years ago So what you gonna do when you start sinking? Get in case you the pipe and start drinking I don't know, but I'll never be someone's friend Just because the fool's making their presidents Rodney Owen Joe Cooley don't play that And you know he never come off whack uh, I'm only down with my homies from the get go I ain't down with OPP in a side show If you don't like it, then I'm throwing at my finger Rodney O's keep it one in the tape, huh? We fall damn sure now Rodney O. Back to the hook, fool, but you don't hear me though. Top of it, kick another five funky verse. And if I die, I put the sound system in my hurts. You don't hear me though, it's a title, bro. I'm calling money when I slam down my domino, uh. Fever in the fog house, yeah, and if you play, then you know what I'm talking about. Who you fooling when you say that you can play, though? I got a New York critic and a chokehold. He just my record because he didn't like my post goes. Now I'm showing him the meaning of logo. I'm not friends with my peers, so I'm overlooked. I got the peacock fool on my fucking hook. I'm paying sucker back for all the years of listening. But now I'm rolling and there ain't no stopping me. Rodney O and Joe Town with a psycho. Back to the hook, fool, but you don't hear me, though. <laughs> But you don't hear me though. Yeah, what y'all know about that old school? Let's keep it going. From the F New York album, it goes like this. Huh. But it's different than Mariah's I want to hear popping them power drivers No matter what kind of speakers you got I know the false gate amp is hitting hot The bass knocks hard just like the police And the fans heat it up like it's a fee Rodney O, one funky individual I got to rhyme when the scissor are critical Yeah, the B-L-B-D Turn to B-O-L-U-M-E DJs and MCs Who the hell am I? Who you come to see? Who the hell I be? Yeah. I'm good to hold Rodney O. Joe Cooley and he were graduated, motivated DJs and MC. Check this out, don't shout. I'm carrying clout and big money is what I make when I run my mouth. See the rhymes I got of the rhymes you don't. And the rhymes I say are the rhymes you want. So I got the camera smile and say, cheese, Rodney O, motherfucker, DJs and MCs. Who am I? Who the fuck am I? Who you come to see? Who the hell I be? Yeah, yeah. Who the hell am I? Who you come to see? That's that real old school shit. Check it out. Right now it is not 2023. It's 1988 and you in the house with Rodney O and TJ Joe Cooley. Listen to 1580 K there on your radio. Rocking in your Nissan truck. You ready to do this, Joe? Every time he makes 
some of the crowd kids it up. When I focus on in the crowd screams again. We're hitting home runs and we always win. I'm in the on and Joe's known to be the king of scratch and makes all the G. A little left hand, right hand to take command. Can the crowd get loud? Make him do it again. Come on. Coolie, 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 coolie. Boy Joe Cooley was the first ones rocking the 808 on wax. This is just one of the songs that goes like this, y'all. The song reigns true to this day. Nobody disses me. Just me. Nobody disses me. Let's do it, Joe. Nobody disses me. And it's plain to see. I'm Roddy O in the back of Joe Cooley. We are educated and what we created cannot be imitated or duplicated. I'm writing paragraphs. That's what we autograph. Don't think a man with his hands and his moving fast. You know we hold the key to this mystery, which could only be what is strategy. We are on a course, which is a steady force. So pay attention because you just might get lost. And there's no way back, so don't dare attack. But right now, let me break in the horn track. Nobody disses me. What y'all know about it? Make some noise. Nobody disses me. Hey, that's taking it back to 88. Y'all ready? Our heart is hot. In your face, showing up shrugs your face Just like you got sprayed by a can of mace You see your speaker is moving, everybody is grooving My soul moves along as the shorts improving The highs will get higher, the bass will go no lower Cause everlasting bass showing up moves the flower Some people can't take it, they try to plead the case But you can't get enough of everlasting bass And when he's on stage, he can And I'm good to Yes, Rodney O, leader of the show Make the lady say King of my Cause and much Your dumb shrimp wimps, it's you I tame So to the R, to the O, to the D, and the Y Now what's that spell, Rodney? That's right, that's right Feelers and Adidas and summer kangos. We ride on 747s, not DC 10s. We'll take a three day vacation and we'll do it again. Check in the hotel the day of the show. No time to play around because we got to go. You see, we're on a flight to rock the mic in Miami, Florida, where they film the vice. Joe Cooley. 
Joe Clooney, won't you rock that? Kick that. Drop that. Me and Joe Clooney gonna rock that. Come on, drop that. Kick that. Me and Joe Clooney gonna rock that. What y'all know about it? Rodney O and Joe Cooley was in the house, y'all. One more again, give it up for Rodney O and Joe Cooley. Hold up, before y'all go, before y'all go, man. This is K-Day Honor, so right now we want to honor you with this plaque that we got up here for Spider both man. you and Rodney and Joe. I'm so here you go, Rodney. You got hey, this for hey, you. Hey, they gave me a plaque. I wanted some damn money. Give me some money. <laughs> Nah, this is, this is all good, bro. Appreciate you. One more time, give it up for Rodney and Joe Cooley, y'all. Yeah, yeah, appreciate y'all. To fully embrace the four decades of K-Day, we must recognize some of the artists that endured the long journey of hip hop. The list is long, but I picked only four. The diverse and inspiring contributions to the soundtrack of our city. From the vibrant streets of Brooklyn, New York, comes Notorious B.I.G. It's the N-O-T-O-R-I. Rising from the depths of urban struggle to become an awe-inspiring force in hip-hop, leaving an inedible mark on the world before his tragic death in this very spot in our city of Los Angeles. To our West Coast legend, Tupac Shakur, who touched the souls of millions through unforgettable hip-hop anthems like California Love and Dear Mama, which came to define an entire era. Equally compelling were his introspective tracks such as Hail Mary and All Eyes on Me, which showcase the profound gift of his lyrical prowess, revealing the raw struggles and complexities of his soul. Out for everything they owe, remember K-Day. Snoop Dogg, a man that's all about loyalty and larger than life. What's my name? His personality has forged deep friendships with not just other hip-hop luminaries like Dr. Dre and Tupac, but with others across entertainment. His ability to bridge divides and connect on an emotional level, and it transcends his music. And I creep through the small, cause I'm Snoop Doggy, Doggy, Doggy. But Dr. Dre is hip-hop's GOAT behind the boards. The Chronic's all-star roster and collab is the Mount Rushmore of hip-hop, from his NWA cohort Ice Cube to Snoop Dogg to Eminem to 50 Cent to The Game and even Kendrick Lamar. His stripper era defining album Straight Outta Compton with NWA and his solo albums The Chronic and 2001 are certified masterpieces and an opus to hip hop. And even though I only gave you four, there's so many more hip hop artists that contribute to 935 KD as we celebrate our 40th anniversary. right here make some noise k-day nation real quick i know we got a lot of legends in the house tonight but queen of comedy lunell is in the building tonight so make sure you check out her special but speaking of legends we got more coming to the stage yo i talk to this dude damn near every day man this is my brother y'all better give it up for my man dj quick in the building <laughs> dj quick is in the mother house my joint. Hey, he said, pardon your what, sir? Puff, puff, pass. What are we doing, dog? Puff, puff, pass, man. No, 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 no. You know, you know, I can't even handle that. I can't even handle that shit. It's not gonna happen. Yo, once again, give it up for DJ Quick in the building tonight. Born and raised in Compton. Yes, sir. K-Day hits the airwaves. What are your thoughts on K-Day being around for 40 years strong? But what's one of your favorite memories about K-Day? Uh, my favorite memory about K-Day was listening to 1580 when you could get the signal growing up in Compton yeah. on a good night. And they had the mix masters on there, like Tony G, Joe Cooley, uh, Julio G. Um, uh, Bob, I think Bobcat was part of that, too. Like the whole yeah, yeah. All that Uncle Jam's Army shit. You know, to hear that on the air yeah. as a kid, I wanted to be that. You, you wanted know? to be that. Well, That's you like, are that. He's that dude. Ain't no I, question I, about you, that. Bro. So you that, that dude, so now you hear your record and it's on the radio for the first time quick. How does that make you feel, my man? It's an out of body experience. Y'all, no, you can't, you'll never get used to it. You think, you know, we worked on this record, you know, you know who knows who's gonna like it, they don't like it, whatever. I don't care, I did the best I could. But as soon as it come on the radio and you hear yourself, it's like, it's a feeling, like, it's like being born again. It's yeah. A born, it's like a birth. Yeah. Like what? Yeah. This is me. Yeah. And if you go out and hear it in other people's cars, it's like I connected. And don't nobody want nothing more than to be connected, than to be 
and you know feel like they're a part of something. You know what I mean? The fraternity. The, yeah. For people like you. You know well, what I mean? You are connected and a part of KD Nation. We already know that. And I love you. Say it loud. What? He ain't scared to hear how much you love him. Yo, yeah, you one of the hardest workers in the game. I've saw you hands on in the studio. I've seen you work. I hear how Dr. Dre worked. You also talked about how Tupac worked. So oh when I God. got all three of y'all in the studio, what were those moments like? They was too short. Like, oh. they, that should have lasted a way longer time. I agree. It, it, we it, all it agree with it that. It wasn't long enough, you know? And uh, just Tupac's tenacity, wherever he got that energy from, I wanted to tap into that. But, you know, it was, it was but, but you have to know, it was, it was hard fought. Like, you know, he was a rebel. So you had to be willing to make the ultimate sacrifice. He was just the, he was the strongest, smartest guy that I met at that time. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and nobody could outwrap him in the studio. We was just like, I, I passed the beats. I was like, wow. You, know, you got to give him uh, this Hearts of Man beat because he just in here killing everything. Everything. At, every, at every five minutes. Like, he, he'll write the song in 30 minutes. Well, you said you would go to the restroom and come back and he'd be like, oh, yeah, I just he, wrote this I, fucking I song. The first. He, he laid the first, second verse. So I'm just sitting there watching him rap to my music, and I don't have to do nothing. It ain't like, hey, man, you should punch in right here. He just knew, he was, he just knew it instinctively. Yeah. Genius and, is one that yeah. knows without it's learning. So true. Yeah, and, and you know what? Quick is that dude, he produces, he performs, but a lot of people don't know that you master and you mix certain records too. Yes, sir, I do. And that's why they're crystal clear, right? Yeah, is that, that's Because you, you don't do, do nothing less than that. Hey, man, I, I, and it goes back to K-Day. I just wanted my music to sound good on the air. And K-Day was, K was the best AM and FM station in the game. Yeah, yeah. Still is. Yo, give it up for DJ Quick. Talking number facts, talking number truth. It's your boy Romeo. Well, you know what? Uh, get one more hit of that, and then we're going to have you come on over here and make it do what it do. DJ Quick about to head to the stage and make it happen. Why he about to do that? Uh, yo, Quick, what's popping? Yeah. You ready to head up to the stage and see what's up? Hey, you know I'm going to rock with you tonight, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. You're, you're part of Let's the show. Let's get it. All right. Are y'all ready? I said, are you ready? Uh-oh. On your march. Get set. Go. DJ Quick in the building. Turn it up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now let's get down to business. Cause it seems like y'all wanna keep on trying to diss this G from the trees that's been down for years. I've clowned for years. And y'all can never fade my peers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Can't even say that no more. Me and MCA are friends. We share hair care tips. We go to weddings and shit together. So that's my brother. But we get into this. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Got yeah. my nigga Romeo gonna help me on this. Can I rock with you, DJ, quick? Oh, man, come on, let's take it back to 98. Let's go, bro. What we say? Now, who says we can't be fly? Who say cop the niggas can't get that Skrillet at the same time, get some thigh? Well, uh, that's the subject of my conversation. Cause ain't nothing like getting a dollar plus some penetration. Now, that's a whole lot easier to understand nowadays, but uh, some of you players still be going out sideways. So um, just take this game with a tic tac. Cause if you was on Skid Row, you can get past it in a Big Mac. I owe it to myself to be fly. That's what Top Dog taught a boy. Cause instead of mouths, these hookers always want I'm enjoy because. They feel like a nut But I'd rather have it more often than they don't So I won't go flipping and making it topsy-turvy Now keep my hundred dollar bills crisp and that ass curvy Cause ain't nothing on my mind but to be fly through time Having a nest egg bread behind in the state That's mine yeah. watching Jordan go for 40 in a sucking tub what? Eating Cheetos, drinking my way, getting the back scrub what? Because first you get the power, then you get the money Then you get the... Dude, don't be no dummy, uh. Players get their money if the game is tight And if you want some nana, nah, that's for you to decide But as long as you ain't sipping, then you're doing it right Cause together it go hand in hand Oh yeah, players get their money if the game is tight And if you want some nana, nah, that's for you to decide But as long as you ain't sipping, then you're doing it right Cause together it go hand in hand You know, eh, 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 eh. Tony, 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 and DJ Quick. We get down like.
like this forever. And a day. Yep. Now what you hear is not a drag. Cause Mr. DJ Quinn got a brand new bag. But first I got a bang bang. A boogie for the boogie to the rhythm of the getaway streets. Check it out. You're trying to give me some eight ball, but no way. I'd rather have a mimosa with Chris Allen on J. Yeah, just a little something bubbly and tingly to have me walking around naked. But wait a second. The functions all around me now. What time is it? Are you inside? Say what? A veil of clothes. To do what? To come and play. Yep. Give me a clue. So I don't have to look at Everybody you. sing. Everybody sing it. Forty years of K-Day, day, day, day. Yeah. Now we don't need a club. We can do this at my house. My front door is open so homies can bust her out. And ladies, when you come and leave your children at the nursery so you can slow on the anniversary. You feel me? I just did die. So don't be looking stupid when I'm up asking your bra. You know you want to back this because I come stronger than the IRS whenever you done got the liquid on your taxes. Let's go! Staring at you. I need a dream. Staring at you. What you need? You need one too. Who is your friend? Lady sing it. She don't look nice. Uh-uh-uh. But I know she will. When? Later on tonight. Come on. Come on. Everybody down. sing. Come on. Let's get down. Let's get down. Let's get Everybody down. Everybody sing. Come on. Let's get down. In my black. Everybody sing. Come on. Let's get down. Let's get down. Let's get down. Nine, eight, on, seven, six, down. five, let's four, down. three, two. Just give you a little bit of my music. Show sure feel good though, Johnny Tiller. Yeah, respect to everybody in here. Thank y'all for being here. And for sure, you got yours, I got mine. And we're ballin', so call up everybody. Let's pitch in on a party for sure. What? You got yours, I got mine. And we're ballin', like a motherfucker. So call up everybody. Now I wanted to show y'all this. These are some of the records that I helped to engineer, produce, drum program, or just lend some energy to. Go. What? You know what I'm saying? Go again, Dave. Watch this. Yep. DJ Quick on the drums. Get him again, Dad. Get him again. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Get him again. Get him again, Dad. Bitch better have my money. If you know anything about 1990, everybody sing this right here. What? record this next record i engineered i didn't get my credit but i'm cool with the homie 
But I want everybody to feel comfortable enough to sing this because dedicate this to the closest motherfucker to you. Check it out. I engineered this record. Get him. Whatever your nationality is, you can say that shit. Everybody. I'm saying I'm gonna ride for my motherfucking nigga. Most likely I'm gonna die with my finger on the trigger. I've been grinding that side out there with my niggas. And I ain't going in, it's on with my nigga. My nigga, my nigga. My nigga, my nigga. My motherfucking what? My nigga, my nigga. My nigga, my nigga. My nigga, my nigga. Bring it down. First day. And if it's your birthday, Sagittarius, we did this for you. Go, 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 shorty. It's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gon' sip a car. We gon' sip Jack Daniels. Can I get my Jack Daniels out here? You can find me in the... And I'd like to dedicate this to everybody who's ever survived a hangover. Can I get my drink? Where's my drink, Nate Dog Jr.? We need some help. Five. Here we go. This record was made in Los Angeles, California, right in Harlem 30s crib. 39th and Browning. Player Ham in the house. Penthouse Players Click. What? And I wrote this shit. Yo, a day in the life of a... I'm just a stubborn motherfucker with a head like a brick. And just because I drink the A, they say that I'm hopeless. But I don't give a fuck, so blame it on the locust. Player oh, hammered up, Miss Baker. So don't even trip. With my funky couple of chips, it's getting hot up here. So check it while I kick it to the funky ass red, though. Friday morning. Off the My nigga D is in the gym of you and Ron's in this notebook. Or should I say Dosack because we don't bust whack? I pick up the phone and it's Miss Baker. What up, nigga? She said he's coming down by two in the dock. So I'm about to rush a tub, but my water's too hot. And now I'm soaking. I rather like the devastating DJ Quick and Joker. Mess with me on the ESPN and you'll get booked. My name is Quick. But you can call me Dad. Yeah, open up the door because you got freak man in the caddy. Now Ricky's in the L, dog. Savvy's in the L, co. And everybody's sipping on the quote. D just came with a 40 in a quote. In addition to the three that Shabby just bought. But I don't want to start early, so I just might go turn on K-Day because I'm trying to get... What we gonna get then? If you're pimping and you know it, clap your hands. Let's go! Everybody put your drinks in the air. Hell yeah. So now I'm out of the tub, I'm feeling fancy free. Spray on some Zuri, just put in my key phone G. Sweat suit, the gray one with the burgundy trim. And it's a medium, fit me proper, cause I'm nice and slim. 5.30 on the clock, the sun is simply sinking. And I still be thinking about the eight that I'll be drinking. You know I ain't ashamed, and you know I ain't bashful. So go ahead and pop the party so I can pour me a glass full. Hammers in the barrel rolling up the stem so. Got it in the pinky and the length of a pencil. Freaky lit it up and hit it one, two, three. Shabby took a hit, them niggas pass it to me. It's the bomb. Yeah, I can feel my senses. Get it up. Never get that 40 ounce. I need some run. I'm chilling like a man. Here I come. And that's how I'm living. Tonight is the night and I'm looking real sporty. Proper Friday evening and I'm ready to party. Now Crusher came in with a handful of snaps and said, Fuck it. Let's shoot some craps. Yo, what they hit for? A fan or a half? Man, shoot that team. Oh, don't make me laugh. Now, high C wanna dub, and he laughing like it's funny, but I'm 7 and 11, and I'm. <laughs> Yo, what we gon' get bent? Hell yeah, what we gon' get bent? I'm gonna throw y'all a wild pitch right here. I'm gonna see if all the ladies know this song. Let's bring Betty right back. Check it out. I'm nervous and I'm trembling. Sing it. Waiting for you to walk in. I'm trying hard to relax, but I. Exactly. <laughs> Rest in peace, Betty Wright. She let me use this record. You know what? Can we say a little prayer right now? Break that down. We already know I survived hangovers. I'm gonna have one tonight. In case y'all don't know, I buried my brother today. It always gotta be some fuck, you know, hey. My life is anything, everywhere, all at once. It's all right, guess what? He ain't suffering no more. My nigga, he the only one in my whole family that didn't ask me for nothing when I got rich. So I wanna do this for him. Let's do a little prayer. Let's just 
Can you play that Prince? Rest in peace, Gerald Ray. Got buried with honors today in the Arlington National Cemetery. So let's go up for my nigga. Shout out to Battle Pack. Now who's gonna get Dr. Dre's honorary award? I see Dre got one. Y'all need to let me take it to him. Shout out to DJ Tony G. K Day. Thank y'all for being here. I love y'all. Now I'm about to go get drunk. Motherfucking right. I've been trying, Dave. I love y'all. Give it up for DJ Quick. Let me hear you make some noise for DJ Quick. Everybody. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. You can't leave yet. Hold on one second, one second, one second. Come on, man. Give it up one more time for my man, DJ Quick. Thank you so much for coming through. I know it was a, that kind of day for you, bro. We love you, I know you're here, but we gotta honor you right now. DeAsia, can you bring that up? Representing the station that started hip hop on the West Coast, the first hip hop station in the world. K-Day, you are part of that legacy, and for that, we salute you, DJ Quick. Give it up one more time for DJ Quick. Yo, Corey, let them know what's coming up. All right, y'all. When we come back, I have two friends that I want you to meet. Messages from Bone Thex and Harmony, Terrell Owens, as well as Warren G. We're going to have a special tribute to Forever K Day by PJ Butter. Romeo, he's going to honor Art LeBeau and Cece. Oh, she's about to go toe to toe with Corrupt and Daz Dillinger when K Day 40 Honors returns. Happy birthday, K Day. We love y'all, both of us in harmony. All five in the building. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. We appreciate y'all for putting us on like that back in the day, like back that. Back in the day. Yeah. Y'all the one you know of. Anymore, but some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. Yeah, baby. <laughs> what up, everybody? This is T.O. I'm right here with K Day. They're here celebrating 40 years in hip hop. Congratulations. I mean, K Day means everything for the culture because they were there in the beginning of the culture. I used to listen listen to the Traffic Jam. I used to listen to uh, Julio G, uh, Tony G, and everybody that that was doing the mix show. I mean, Greg Mac, yeah. definitely Greg Mac. I mean, all of those. It, that's that's all I listen to. All right, KD Nation, how we feeling? Love it, love it, love it. All right, so. If you were born and raised in the West like myself, okay, you guys know these three words, the Baker Boys, all right? So, the Baker Boys, Nick and Eric Vidal. That's hey, how you talk, yo. you gotta say Vidal, all right? Let's go, hey, let's go. West Coast, where you at? Put your hands up. What, what? LA, where uh, you at? Put uh, your hands what, up. What? Hey, yo. hey, hey. Little known fact, this is a great plug produced by the Baker Boys. So back in the day when we started DJing, we were very inspired by 1580 K-Day. Yeah, we used to get on our rooftop to listen in Bakersfield, where we're from, about an hour and a half away. And we were lucky enough to be influenced by the one and only Tony Gonzalez, Tony G, original mix master, Julio G, people, M. Walk. I mean, we had them guys come to our radio station. We were on a little AM radio station in Bakersfield. 13K, 50, and we wanted to do what K-Day did, but man, these guys are under, they're ridiculous. Can we introduce these guys yes, right we now? Can. We have two very special guests right here. Give it up for the one and only Julio G. Julio G. DJ Battlecat. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, geez. And the one and only Battlecat. DJ Battlecat. What's up, cat? Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him, he's still going. He, he, he got me, it's okay. We got you. 
<laughs> welcome, uh, welcome, and thanks for being here, guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. We want to go back to the very beginning. Number one, how did you get on K Day as Mix Masters? Uh, myself, um, Tony G found me, kind of discovered me, but I, I popped up at 1580 K Day one day to do. Um, they used to do a show called the High Energy Show, oh, yeah. and a guy named Louis Romo, he was in charge of doing that. He was a friend of mine. His 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 uh, brother went to high school with me, so. Um, uh, when I was a kid, I used to break dance. The, the first break dance contest I won was one of his parties. That's how I met him when I was about 14, 15. And uh, so he took me up to K-Day and um, that's when uh, I met Tony and Greg. And I actually battled Tony the first time I met him. And, and, and I lost. Didn't you know, know that. <laughs> <laughs> but you but still got was, on. Uh, yeah, I got on. I, I looked up to him. That's why I named myself Julio G was because of Tony G. I used to listen to him on the radio when I was in high school. But that's how I got on. Um, first time he met me and, and let me, he let me come back the next week. And then I, w I seen him at a party. He's like, I'm gonna make you a mix master. And I didn't believe it. I was like, okay. And <laughs> what so does that he, mean? He, yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, okay. So he, he talked to Greg Mack and, and because of Greg Mack, he put me on and I became uh, one of the original 1580 KDA mix masters. That was up. Give it up for Julio G, guys. <laughs> Battle Cat. Tell us your story. How did you get on K-Day? Who brought you in the fold? Man, man, man. So my humble beginnings of that is I heard it uh, broadcast that they was having one more uh, opportunity to become a K-Day Mix Master because I thought it wasn't going to happen. And they, they already had their DJs, but then, then they came and, they, and extended uh, another competition. One more at the Ebony Showcase off of Crenshaw and Washington back in the day. So. I'll go back to the house and get my records, get my needles. Came back up there, seen Tony, seen Julio, and all my homeboys, and I just know that at that time, I, needed to, I really needed to belong to something because at that time, gangbanging was at an all-time high in the 80s. And so I was glad to be a part of something so I can really further, further my identity and my dreams and goals, and I, I appreciate Greg Mack for doing so, him and Tony. They had a nice conversation. Next thing I know, about a month later, they announced who all the KD Mix Masters, and here you have it, DJ Battle Cat. Give it up for Battle Cat. This is up. So back, back in that day, when you guys were doing the, the Mix Masters, the DJ at World on Wheels and all the events you guys were that doing. Part. You know what I mean? Uncle Jam's Army, all that stuff. Man, Man tell us, how was it? You guys were like rock stars, DJ rock stars, right or not? Nah? I mean, listen, it was crazy because we had them to look up to. You were talking about the California Crack Crew. We had Lonzo, the Wrecking Crew, Ice-T getting it in, the Radio Tron. Dream Team. Oh, man, Dream Team, there was so much going on, so. You know, they, they, they laid out the pavement and the whole demonstration of how we needed to follow suit. And so what I was loving about Greg Mack, Greg Mack was like, you know what? I need my own crew like that. And so it was so dope to know that he was inspired by others because it was competition, freely competition. But yeah. it just gave us a voice beyond our imagination. Let me ask you a question in regards to technology because back then it was wax, turntables, a mixer, and now how Headphones, far it's come, yeah. A receiver, if not a radio. We had the La Sonic, uh, Pioneer, little reverb, plug up to the auxiliary in the back, whatever we had to do to make it go. And I've heard stories back in the day, there was some of the records didn't have clean versions. Oh. So you guys had to do live on the fly edits you right did. there. Ooh. Right? Tell me about that. Hey, well, you know what? That's crazy that you said that because I know he really can elaborate on it. When I first had to make my mixed show, I had to find records that didn't have uh, explicit lyrics Curse and words. it was cool because it was a way to showcase uh, how tasteful that a DJ could select records and still get his point across. Well, let's talk about the selection of records because you guys are playing records that nobody ever heard. You're talking about stuff from European, Europe, and stuff like that, electronic records on the radio. We, what we did is that we, back then, you didn't see the videos. You didn't really know who the artists were. So at KDA, 1580 KDA, there was a hallway and there'd be a lot of records there. So we would just go through them and if it looked like it's something, I, you know, I used to just kind of take home everything and then just throw it out, but that's how you would find records. Cause like the first time I played, um, I played Boogie Down Production South Bronx for the first time. Nobody really knew, there was no, I didn't know what Chris looked like. I didn't know nothing about none of that. We just Be played nice, off the yeah. sound. We played off the sound and we just, we all just had great ears for DJing. And, and not only that, we innovated DJing where you see it today with the way people cut records, the way people scratch when they put a drop 
and all that that all came from us we all created that style of come DJing on give it up give it up here what you hear today, basically, you know? Exactly. It's, well, you guys inspired us when we were kids. Like Eric V said, when we were young from Bakersfield, we heard a cassette tape, and we heard people scratching and stuff. On we, the, we used to hire Tony and Julio to come and DJ in Bakersfield. Yeah. Can so, I tell them a story real quick? Tell us, so, please. So, so these guys right here, these guys right here showed up at the Casa Camino Real one day, and it, rest in peace to their dad. Their dad came, and he says, hey, um, I'll pay you and Tony G to walk outside if you could just meet my kids. Cause they 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 look up to you so much. We're like your kids. How old are they? <laughs> they're like they're like 14 and 15 or something. Like really young. And we were like, you know what, man? We told the security man, it's cool as long as they don't drink nothing. Just come come on in. So they came on. They yeah. came on the stage with us. Remember when you guys yeah, came? Thank you. Guys you. Chilled on the stage with us. And that was um that was the beginning of how we got to know the Baker boys. And then they ended up coming to L.A. And that's so you know. So I kind of feel like they kind of took. Arcade day thing and took Absolutely. it to FM. So I really want to salute them since they're up here on stage, because we Amazing. owe a lot to these guys. We owe a lot to these guys right here because they took it to FM and, Thank and you. made it made it uh, possible. You know, what we I mean? would not be who we are without K Day. Period. Sure. And these mix masters. Stories. So I want to ask you one more one more question because we got a special video. If you had to battle somebody, what is your record? Your go-to record for battling a DJ? Mine has always been It's Time. It's Time. It's Time. Battle Cat. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. Bang Zoom from uh. Ooh, uh, Roxanne. Ooh, Roxanne. 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 Hey, yeah, man. How because we... that was the record I actually used when I went to uh, New York for the first time to represent the West Coast at the DMC seminar, where Red Alert and Jazzy J and uh, just a few, to name a few, a Latin was out there too. But he was he was with the group Pro Low Profile. Oh, yeah. So okay. I had LA support, you know, and being courageous. So it would be that record. Howie T. Bang Zoom. Yep. Yeah. How are you? Thank yeah. you guys for being here. Can I can I Come give on. a shout out to my daughter? I brought my daughter yeah. out here. Hey, hey, shout out to my daughter. Oh wow, she's it's very here. nice to have her out here. You know what I mean? Very Next cool. generation in the too. building. Now, now, what's her name? Poet is too. Poet is. Oh, no, no, is. Is. my daughter right here. Now, what's, her, what's her name? Dominique. Dominique, Dominique G. Julio G, Tony G. Yeah, that's oh, right. Man. Yes, that's indeed, right. man. We got a She's special a video presentation. You guys don't know this, but are we, are we going to bring this out right now? All right, so we want to present you guys, obviously, 40th anniversary. We are doing Hip Hop Honors in honor of K-Day and all you mean to us yes. and all the DJ community in Los Angeles. You guys need to be recognized. There needs to be a Mixmaster Day in L.A. Love yes. it. Let's, I agree. Let's go. Let's we like it. to present you Julio G with this beautiful plaque right here. Thank you so honors. much. And Battle Cat, ladies, give thank it you up so much for Julio G. <laughs> and yeah. you see it, Battle Cat. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> they put it down for us, this ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful. We got a special video from uh, somebody you might know right here, ladies Let's and see. gentlemen. The original K Day Mix Master. Let's hear from him right about now. Thank What's you, up? Tony. Oh, thank you, Julio. Thank you, thank and you. Tony. Thank you. Yes, sir. And thank you, Battle Cat. Thank you. Yo, yo, what's up? This is Dr. Dre, and I have so many reasons to thank K-Day, but I'll just give you a couple of them right now. K-Day was the first station that gave me an opportunity when I was a young and up-and-coming DJ. They gave me my own radio show, which was called The Traffic Jam, and I showed up every weekday at 5 o'clock. And every artist out there knows what it's like the first time you hear your shit on the radio. The feeling is amazing. Not only that, K-Day was the first station to play the first song I ever produced on my own, which was Boys in the Hood. So I can't thank them enough. So I'd like to say happy 40th anniversary, K-Day. And I really, really appreciate this honor. You were a part of my history, a part of my legacy, and you're the springboard to what i become today. Thank you. Doc Dre, out. K-Day is like hip-hop. It don't stop, and it won't stop. You know, times may have changed since 73, when DJ Cool Herc turned the Bronx house party at 1520 Cedric Avenue into a historical event. And in 83, when Greg Mack turned 1580 AM to the legendary K-Day. You know, back then, those were the days when K-Day was more than a radio station. It was the heartbeat of our city. It was a rhythm that pumped through our streets. Today, K-Day may not be the trailblazer used to be playing new music or tap into the underground scene, but you know what? K-Day's a shiznit. It's a reminder of where we've been. It's a soundtrack of our lives, a mixtape of memories and moments. As we celebrate K-Day's 40th anniversary alongside hip-hop's 50th, this isn't just about looking back. 
It's about this ongoing conversation that we're having through music. It's about the experiences we share. I mean, it's like Tupac said. Remember K-Day? Remember K-Day? We dance Chris Shaw, MLK, automatic... Because this isn't just history. It's a journey we're still on. It's a story that continues. A beat that never stops. A legacy that echoes through generations. <laughs> Here's another 40 years of beats, rhymes, and K-Day. Yes, K-Day will be here to quote Kara's one forever. Forever. And at one point, though, no bullshit, K-Day was about to be some Chinese talk radio station at one point. You remember the Save K-Day campaign we had? So earlier in a ceremony we had, we got to thank the people that actually saved K-Day. So big shout out and thank you to owners Alex Morello and Luis Armona. Also present Otto Padron, uh, Tommy Trujillo, the money man, and of course DJ E-Man and Nathan Tewitt, who mixes up my show uh, on PJ's playlist. And the guys who really went in Alex's ear and made this happen, the deal makers, Javier Gutierrez and Ben Vega, so thank you for that. And also special shout out to Monaco, McKee, uh, my honor family, CC, and also Romeo. Uh, and then also, uh, we got to shout out our friends and sponsors that are here tonight. So definitely big shout out to uh, Derek Epps of Jack Daniels. Y'all enjoying the Jack Daniels tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. So good. Also, accident attorney, my friend Big Al from 1 800 Herd 123. And PV Jobs. And a shout out to all the celebrities here. We got comedian uh, Lunell is here. Uh, check out her Netflix special, Funny as Fuck. Second to None is up in here. I heard Roscoe's up in here. I heard we got uh, Mellow Man Ace up in here. We got my girl the Potus up in here. Uh, I also got LA Dream Team up in the house for real, so shout out. And we got you in the house, so shout out to you for being here and celebrating Katie. Make some noise for yourself. Come on, y'all. That's right. And we don't stop. The legacy continues. Right, Romeo? That is so right. Give it up for PJ Butter, K-Day Nation! K-Day. Hip-hop. All day, every day, but on Sunday nights from 6 to midnight, it hits just a little different, don't it? The voice, the man that I have the honor of him mentoring me, getting on stage with him, sharing stories with him. We are talking about the legendary Art LeBeau. Make some noise for him. He had jokes too. He used to clown me all the time. Art LeBeau has so many jokes, so amazing. It's something about that voice, but we would definitely carry on his legacy. And I want to bring a couple of people to the stage and honor them with the Art LeBeau plaque and make sure we honor them for K-Day 40s. Old school Becky Lee, the voice that you hear on Art LeBeau Connection right now, and Joe Mo that runs the show. I need y'all to come on stage right now. Give it up for the Art LeBeau Connection! Joe Mo! Joe Mo! I want to go ahead and honor you guys with the plaque in honor of Art LeBeau. Thank you, Dej. Give it up for the Asian, too. She handed us the plaques in the back. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. I mean, he did radio for so many years and meant so much, oh, and he brought every neighborhood together. It don't matter what hood you were from. On Sunday nights, we were all tapped into Art LeBeau, right? So, Joe Mo and Old School Becky Lou, we salute you and say thank you for continuing the legacy, and we will continue to do that together for Art LeBeau. Yeah. That's right, we wanna thank each and every one of you for tuning in. Oh my gosh, I'm shaking right now because this is such an honor. Thank you, Romeo. Thank you. Thank you. All of you are our extended Arlebo Familia. You guys are down with the oldies but goodies. You guys hey. know what's up. You know what's up. That's, That's what's right. up. That's right, That's right. thank you all. It's Once again, give it up for Old School Becky Lou and Jomo thank and you. we're gonna take this back to the station right here. Okay, day we will continue to honor. That's what we do. Woo! Thank you so much. Are oh, you having a good time? Say yeah! Yeah! Yo, CC, we lit over here. You know what we hey, do over on. here. <laughs> Man, it's a vibe. It's a party. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Oh my gosh. 40 years. We are so excited. Yes, we are. So excited for everybody to be here. We got a lot of celebs in the building. Shout out to my girl, Lunel. She in here. Yeah! Oh, are you, are you double fisted? Yes. I think she's triple fisted. She got three. Two drink, three? Menage a drink. She got a menage a drink going on. We have <laughs> Mellow Man Ace in the building. Mellow Man Ace, yes. salute. Yeah, man. We know there's some mentirosas here tonight. You know, I'm just saying. 
Shout out to Girl Toes. We got a lot of people here celebrating with us, too. We see you, baseball head. We definitely do, man. Thank you, my man, for always doing that, man. And, uh, and of course, we got honored because today's a special day today, right? Today is a special day. We are honored by the city of Los Angeles. Guys, 40 years, December 7th, it's K-Day Day in Los Angeles! Yes! Oh, look at that right there. Every year on December 7th, it's K-Day Day, even though, like Cece say, it's K-Day all day. K-Day all day, <laughs> yes. There it is right there. And Woo! we share this with everyone from 1580K. This is for you all, from Greg Mack to the K-Day Mix Masters, everyone who was a part of K-Day's legacy. This is for you. Celebrate today. Definitely, definitely. Thank you guys so much. Listen, the vibes are going to keep going. Yeah, it is. We're going to keep partying because you know how K-Day does it. Ain't nothing like a K-Day party. Come on. Say what? Ooh, let's go, let's go. We keeping it going right now. I want to go ahead and bring these guys out. My brothers, I love them. Family, you already know. Give it up. Y'all better make some noise for Daz and Corral. The Dog Pound. Legends right here. Legends. You got to give it up. Yeah, what's up, KD? Ain't nothing but a KD party. Party, let's go right here. All right, so this is so exciting for me. First of all, I have a close personal relationship with Daz and Corrupt, especially to like, I get to call them friends growing up in LA, you know what I'm saying? These are legends right here that are in front of you. I, I wanna ask you a question, it might be a little simple question, but it's a question that some people don't know. Um, how did the group initially form and what inspired the Dog Pound, the name the Dog Pound? Well, hey, uh, come on, give it up. You know, me and Corrupt, we was on Death Row Records. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we were solo artists. And, you know, we lived in a place called the Dog Pound, which was our home in Hollywood, of Whitley and Franklin. Ew. And, uh, you know, we used to wake up in the morning and go steal our food from the store. You know, with the food stamps and everything, you know what I'm saying? So, it was another night, me and Corrupt was smoking weed, looking at the moon, the stars, and the solar, and we just like, you know what? I love it. We're gonna become the dog pal. Yeah. And then right after that, we said that the next day, we did Niggas Don't Give a Fuck with a Poetic Justice soundtrack. Come on, yes! And then from then, we've been rocking for 30 years, and some change. Still here rocking. Dad still corrupt, here, corrupt still rocking. Dad. Legends never miss a beat. One thing I can say, especially about Corrupt, we've done so many concerts. When you're on stage, I, I tell you all the time, flawless, flawless. You never miss a beat. Never miss a beat. You know, we love having you on our K-Day stage, on our K-Day concerts. How has K-Day inspired and really changed your career and your success? Well, you know, we've been listening to K-Day before we got deals. So when I was in Hawthorne, before I even went to LA, moved to LA, you know, we was banging K-Day. It was an AM station back then. So, you know, it's just, I wanted to be on there. I'm gonna make it. Mm -hmm. now, if I get on K-Day, I made it. I wanted to be you on there it. more than the regular radio station. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that was a goal of mine. So I worked hard to be able to be there, so every time I rock with K Day, it's historical to me. You know, what I'm saying? yeah, I made it. We made it. You made it. Yes. You guys are here. When you first started, Daz, did you did you realize? Like, did you fast forward? Legends today, so iconic, and we don't give out that word easily. You both are very iconic in the hip hop culture. You left an imprint on the West Coast. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, like, when we was making music, we never really knew what we was making. We was just making music to make it. And it became out to be legendary music 30 years from now. And you know what I'm saying? And K-Day, y'all love us, and we love y'all, too. You know what I'm saying? So you know what it is, y'all. K-Day, what's happening? Yeah. We get, are we getting that D 
DPG movie, that DPG doc? Come on, let's talk about that. You better believe it. Oh, uh, yeah, we're working on that. Daz and Corrupt, Corrupt and Daz. <laughs> you did. I got to ask you, what does K-Day mean to you? We are here. We're celebrating 40 years. I know what K-Day means to me. What does this radio station and this legacy mean to Daz and Corrupt? Well, it means everything. K-Day is everything. This is where it started. You know what I'm saying? Period. You did. What I think of Katie, I think, uh, woke up quick at about noon, just thought that I had to be in. Hey, you already know. So, you know, that's where I could hear Easy e and NWA, you know what I'm saying? But it was the radio version. And, you know, we had cassette tapes back then, you know what I'm saying? So, going to the Compton Swap Meet, Long Beach, just all over, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all remember Compton Swap Me. Greg Mack, you know what I mean? The whole nine. VIP everything, you know what it is. And, and I have to ask you, because you guys are both so active on social media with the whole digital uh, era now. You have a lot of, you know, fans that are hardcore, but you also have a lot of new fans. Yeah. You know? Callie loves, loves DPG. You. you see how they are right now. The fans love you guys. The fans thank love you. Thank you, thank you. How do you how do you grasp how do you intake the new listeners? You know, we got new listeners out there right now. Yes, yes. Hey, you know what I'm saying we embrace everything. You know what I'm saying. It's always a smile. What's up, ladies? A hug. You know what I'm saying. It just embracing. You know what I'm saying. It's just happy to wake up and be grateful, blessing to wake up in the morning and give it to you like that. You know what I'm saying. Listen, it's, it's an honor. We, we've all bumped your music. We all have a, a story with your music. We love what you do. We love how you represent us every yes, time sir. you guys are out West there on Coast. stage. Yes, West Coast all day. Yes, indeed. West Coast all day. Yeah. And listen, you guys, we do have a special performance with DPG. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Y'all ain't ready for this, or maybe you all are ready for this. Yeah. But Corey, go ahead. What's next, Corey? All right, Stacey Boo, you guys. Coming up next, we got messages from Curtis Blow, Tiffany Haddish, Busta Rhymes, Big Daddy Kane, and an unforgettable performance by The Dog Pound. That is so much more when K-Day Fortianos returns. Sorry, returns. Ah. Yeah. Shout out to Jack Daniels. Hey everybody, I'm Curtis Glow. I just want to say happy 40th birthday to K-Day, man. It's incredible to see how this radio station has existed for over 40 years playing good music, good hip-hop music. And we love you and we thank you all over the country. Happy birthday, K-Day. I love you and I'm so glad that you're here and I hope that you succeed in being here for another 100 years. This is Buster Rhymes, and it's only right that we wish the legendary K-Day a happy 40th. And you know, we gonna make sure that we keep this thing going and keep it growing so we can continue to add some more candles to the big old 40-year-old K-Day cake. Happy birthday, K-Day, all jokes aside. Thank y'all for the love. Thank y'all for everything y'all done for the culture and continue to do for the culture and continue to do for me. Salute y'all. Yo, what's good? This is Big Daddy Kane here with 93.5 K-Day, celebrating 40 years in hip hop. Soon. I gotta get drunk before the day begins Before my mother starts bitching About my friends About to go and damn near went blind Young niggas at the pad throwing up gang signs Ran in the house and grabbed my truck With the Mac-10 on the side of my hip Held outside and pointed my weapon Just as I thought the fools kept stepping Say what? Jumped in the foe, hit the juice on my ride I got front and back and side to side Then I let the Alpine play Shit, it went something like this. Cruising down the street in my six fall. What? Jocking the bitches, slapping the hoes. Went to the park to get the scoop. 
Knuckleheads out there, go shooting some hoops. Swiss. The bar pulls up, who can it be? A fresh El Camino rolling Kilo G. He rolled down his window and he started to say, It's all about making that GT. Cause the boys in the hood are always hard. You come talking at trash, we'll pull your car. Knowing nothing in life but to be legit. Don't quote me, yeah. boy, cause I ain't seen If you from shit. the West Coast, put your hands in the air. Still waters up. Still waters up. To perfect the beat, and I still got love for the streets. It's the DRE. I'm representing for the gangsters all across the world. Still hitting them counters in them low lows. Still taking my time to perfect the beat, and I still got love for the streets. It's the DPG. Welcome. We have been expecting you. Are you motherfuckers ready? Gia. Like we always do about this time. <laughs> Let's go! I win. Oh, yeah! Do you wanna ride with us? Who ride with us? You say, oh, yeah! Do you wanna ride with us? Who ride with us? Oh, yeah! Do you wanna ride with us? Who ride with us? Oh, yeah! Do you wanna ride with us? Who ride with us? With a six straight patches, G-scrape, and a pepper with the sail for the summer, I'll be covered in hubbing. Six, four, them boys got a dollar. Big wheels, 
Bust big hood, blow blows to the ground. Get active, fool. That's how we get down. Scrape it, bumper. You know I keep that bumper. 15 something, just like a 12 pound concert. LA Dutch Cap. Kick his hip from front to back. We back doing it big like that. Like that. Khaki's all stars, white TK flag. DPGC, you a tag. 12 pound gangsters. Niggas is acting. You're popping that shit. Then the gangsters are passing. Ain't no couple miles, and I'm talking to ask it. We taking off first in the city. We just did. Yes, man. Yes, man. Put your motherfucking hands in the air. Hey, come Hold on. Up. Y'all give it up. The Hold dog. Up. We love y'all, man. CC, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so listen. Y'all really love the dog pound, don't y'all? I said, you know what? We gotta give them a little bit more. Y'all want a little bit more? Come on, make some noise. This is what it is. <laughs> The West yeah. Coast, right here. Well, you Let know me what? ask you another question. What do fun? we do? What do we do? <laughs> More weed every day. Let's go. Get all back. Oh, oh. Cause you gave me all your pussy. And you even licked my balls. Woo. Yeah. Leave your number on the cabinet. And I promise, baby, I'll give you a call. Next time I'm feeling kind of funny. You can come on over and I'll break you off. And if you can't fuck that day, baby Say what? Just stay back and open your mouth yeah, Cause, Cause I, I have never met a girl I never met a girl before I never met a girl before da 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 If you did, what the world put your little things in the air And repeat after the I get loaded, and loaded. Since you can't do me, do we look like we be big? Yeah, who's she gonna be? I have some love for her. That's something that I learned about. Now how the fuck am I supposed to do this? Just the latest. So I know that this is mine. So I'ma fuck a couple more times. And then I'm through with it. There's nothing else to do with it. Pass it to dance. No, you can't. Cause he's not trying to bitch for me. And y'all know that bitches ain't shit to me. I get the fuck. Why don't y'all pay attention? Come up, listen. I'm going to do it with a different proposition. I'm going to do it. Fucking house with a fat dick for your motherfucking mouth. Hoes recognize niggas do too. Cause when bitches get scared, listen, pull a voodoo. What you gonna do? You really don't know. 
Silly of me to fall in love with a bitch. No one damn well, I'm too caught up with my grip. Now with the sun rotates and my game grows bigger. How many? Fuck this. Name Snoop. Doggy, I'm all the above. I'm too swift on my toes to get caught up with you. Oh. This for you, CC. K-Day. Let's go. West Coast shit, my nigga rich, ways to track, girls that used to turn they back, cause me to yank they arm and pulls like I would do them all, and I'm saying thank you cause they tell me, watch this the bomb, explosive, hey, what's up, oh, my nigga's drinking cognac, smoking weed, all this fat, more than one firearm, on rims, riding on, trying to get your system, let me know, watch this the bomb, explosive, where, 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 West Coast, go, 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 right now from K-Day. For me, Corrupt, K-Day, a hey, battle cat. Drop that shit. Let's go! If you're from the West Coast, put your hands in the air. Just bounce, rock, roll the skate, yeah. I say bounce, rock, roll the skate, yeah. Hey, yo, corrupt. I've been all around the world, Japan to Amsterdam. Hit them like switches, dip it. Hit the switches, switches. There's one reason why I gotta make mine. Cause these fools on the streets trying to take mine. mine. What's up, ladies? Time's getting shaped. You gotta lick stick with it. That's why I'm sick with it. Hard to maintain in this world of pain. But I'm a third time like Dom to Kane. Check it out. Why can't we just chill and get along? Motherfucker. Let's use the tools to choose to use wrong. Motherfucker. Relax. Me and baby, yes, we got a match to a TT. Ride with me. In the back yeah. with a sack of G. Yeah. Ride with the young OG. G. Checking down the shore. Yeah, yeah what, what up, y'all? Sing that. Weekend, weekend. Take it if you want to. Say what? Down the shore. Yeah, what up, y'all? 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 Yeah, what up, y'all?
with it. Kick it with it. Kick it with it. the block. Come by and not. Say what? I got me somebody bad as shit. While the rest of y'all is mad as shit. I'm coming down the streets in my stash. Pull up to the curb and this works. Ten of the homies are maybe left. They all ride with me and dad the best in the West. West Coast. We can drink and do what? Drink the beer on two. Say what? I think you want to. Say what? Have sex I can't do. CC, we love y'all. Katie. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave the stage right now. Hey, first of all, Ain't No Fun is my motherfucking favorite song, okay? But listen. Listen. Lowrider. Listen. I know y'all love him, but listen, listen. We gonna honor right now. We wanna honor the Dog Pound with a very special plaque. Where do you, oh, come over here, DeAsia girl. Give it up for DeAsia. Hey, the Asian girl. We want to present this plaque to you. You guys mean everything to us. Thank you so much for giving us such great memories, great music. We love you. We love y'all. Thank you. You can't be the West Coast without y'all calling this motherfucker 100%. Most definitely. We love y'all. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I love you. My fam. PJ got you on camera right now. Everybody, make sure you wave. Come on, Battle Cat. Make some noise. Original Mix Master right here, Battle Cat. Make a boys. Man. Greg Mack. We got a hey, KMP. DJ Pro. You know what I'm saying? DJ Dez. It's a yes, family. Yes, indeed. Give it up for the dog pound one more time. Come on. DPG. Thank you to everyone. We love Have you. a good night. And when you get in your car, put it on K Day. Okay. okay. Hey, hey. K Day. K Day. K 